Hello and welcome to another Secret Weapon 8 construction update here on Theme Park Worldwide. I'm trying to get as many updates as I can on this awesome new wooden roller coaster manufactured by GCI here at Alton Towers. Now I'm here with Charlotte again today. It's me! Yay, we've done a full park vlog today so make sure you check it out when it goes online here on the channel. Now it's been a few episodes and I've actually come on the Skyride and have a little look at an overview of the site to see what it looks like from an aerial view. I mean things are progressing quite a lot and in a few moments time we'll go back down on the ground and have a closer look at what's happened since our last update. It's only been about three or four days since I was last here at Alton Towers. I'm trying to do these as regularly as I can so we can see what's going on. Uh, but yeah, really exciting. You enjoy watching it so far? I mean, yeah, I really it's nice have. to see it going on. Oh. It's some interesting as well. It is, yeah. I mean, we both watched The Smiler. It's our anniversary today, our fourth yeah. anniversary together. Uh, so The Smiler was our ride that we watched being built, wasn't it? And again, this one's another one four years on. We're watching uh, this cozy girl. Yeah, and with this one, we're getting to see even more of it go up uh, with it all being built so far during the season. So as we make our way up this way, uh, if you want to get a good view of the construction site, obviously you want to jump on the sky ride from Tower Street to Forbidden Valley, uh, that then leads on over to Cloud Cookie Land and Dark Forest. Or of course you can just do what we did, you have to relax, and just jump on the sky ride at Forbidden Valley down to the park entrance on Utany Bay. Here we go. Look at this, it looks great from up here, okay. Let's see what we can see. I do apologise about the quality, obviously the few scratches on here. Oh wow, this is the first time I've actually seen it from uh, up here for what, two or three weeks maybe? Oh wow, look at the banking on that turn. I mean we're about level with that, aren't we I'd say, height wise. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, we're about level, so that's the sort of height we're looking at. I mean this coach has got to have some speed, I mean you look at the gradient of that drop just there. Obviously, our light actually comes up that way, doesn't it? Yeah, thinking about the layout, it comes up there. So you can just see work taking place there inside the large feeding structure as well. But yeah, to get up that steep gradient just there, it's got to have some speed to it, hasn't it? So we'll uh, make our way down to the bottom and have a little look at what we can see from down there. I think we'll start off with a little look actually from over at the exit bridge to the Congo River Rapids. Let's go and have a look. So we've made our way over to the exit bridge for the Congo River Rapids, where we can get a good view of the lift hill, of course, now it's full height just there. Yeah, you can see the uh, bits of wire that have been attached down the side there as well. Get a good view of the site actually from this angle, and someone actually walking up the lift hill there as well. Attaching that wire that we can see running all the way up. Obviously you've got the large theming structure over there, which is covered up, as I mentioned earlier on and in the last vlog. And then here we get a great view of the tiles going in on the station there. Have a little zoom in just there, you can see them line them all up. Already this station and maintenance building does look really good. I think it's going to have some nice details on it. And just the fact that we've got a proper wooden station, a really nice tiled roof, it's going to look great. I mean, you look back at the Smiler station, for example, when that was being built, it's just a concrete shed, isn't it, really? Whereas with this, it's got a really nice station. The fact that it's got all these different apexes, you know, it's going to be a really nice station to look at, this one. And it's starting to be enclosed now as well. They're actually put, starting to put the walls on the side. Can't really see it too much from this angle. Uh, but for when you're on the main one tree path over at the side, you can see that just down here behind the hedge, they've started to put in some where the window's going to go and all the wooden walls there as well. So you saw a little update there from the exit bridge on the rapids. It's good to see that you've got the tiles going on there. It is different though to what was in the plans. He said it was going to have a wicker style roof, uh, like a thatched roof, so that's quite interesting uh, how it's got the tiles. It's always good to see a few little changes from the plans. And let's just say, looking at this coaster now, it does look, yes it's the same layout as what we were expecting, but the actual banking and things, it looks so much better in person than what we were expecting on the plans. I've just spotted something quite good here, my glamorous assistant will show you. So obviously I showed you in the last update how they've got these that have been cut and there's some posts at the back just here and I thought maybe there was some sort of signage then I thought maybe they're going to be for a TV and if we have a little look down the side just here you can just see there's a set of plug sockets just there so that pretty much confirms to me there's going to be TVs all the way around this advertising the ride yeah. I mean that's good we've got a few of these as we make our way up the site you've got that one there uh, that's got the post and there's a couple on the main one tree path as well so yeah so it looks like we're going to get some uh, TVs here or do you want a Peppa Pig hat? Alton's Park. Looks like we're going to get some tellies. Alton Towers have never done anything quite that intense for a long time when we're building a coaster. So yeah, they're really making this one open and out there. Maybe they're going to show one of these vlogs on there. Highly doubt it. <laughs> but you got one on the corner just here as well. 
So yeah, that's in a really good spot. Obviously, everyone's making the way at One Tree Path just there. So any plug sockets at that one or not? Is they not yet? They definitely weren't there the other day down at the bottom one, so maybe they're just being added in at the moment. Let's make our way up the path and see what else we can see. So here we are then back on the main path, where you can see that some of the workers there are putting more of the wooden bents together, which I presume is going to continue all the way around here. I mean, you've got all the soil and stuff in there now between the footers, so I reckon that's where we're going to start to see the next set of wooden bents. I mean, it took them a few days to build all the ones that have gone into place here uh, before they went up, so I reckon maybe uh, towards the end of the week we might start to see more going in around here. What I was saying earlier on though about the uh, TV screens, you've got two posts here as well. I'm not too sure if there's a plug socket next to these yet. Oh yeah, there you go, just down the bottom down there. See it just in there. You know, have a little walk up here and get some more views of the station building and them tiles going on just there as well. Here's a little zoom in then on the station and maintenance building from this angle. See there, a little close up of all the tiles. They've been going into place yesterday and today. I mean, they've soon got on with that. It doesn't take too long at all. I suppose it's more the structure, isn't it, really, with, the, with that when it comes to putting the roofing on. The tiles soon just attach on top. And today we've got this bloke just down here who's actually putting out all the soil and raking it across so it's nice and neat. So that suggests that the foundations are obviously complete in that location. We might get to see some of the wooden structures starting to go up there as well. Yeah, I reckon next time we're down here we'll be seeing all the wooden bents starting to go into place here. Can't believe though how high that actually is. You can't really tell from down here, but yeah, that's about the same height as the Skyride gondolas. And with the coaster having to make it up there and get round this helix just here, it's definitely going to have to have some speed. We'll just have one final look up at the top before wrapping up another update on SW8 Alton Towers. Right at the top of the site then now, and I've just noticed here uh, some more of the wooden structures actually gone in for the final turn just before you go into the break run. That must have been done the past couple of days as well, as I definitely didn't see that when I was last here. Uh, but there we go, that pretty much sums up another update here from Secret Weapon 8 at Alton Towers. There's uh, Charlotte, is enjoying that view of the lift hill, <laughs> taking it all in. I see what they was doing. Yeah, they're up there, seems to be doing some more work. They're not messing about, I mean, it's what, half past five uh, at night and the you know, still going at the moment. But yeah, that's it for another update. I hope you've enjoyed watching here on Theme Park Worldwide. Make sure you stay tuned for more updates on the brand new wooden roller coaster here at Alton Towers. I'll be here all throughout the year, all the way through until the ride opening next year, with brand new updates from the brand new wooden roller coaster here at Alton Towers. I just realised I said brand new quite a lot there. Brand new ride, brand new updates here on the channel. Thanks for coming along for another update, Charlotte. You've been in quite a few of these, haven't you? And make sure you check out the full day vlog where me and Charlotte spend the day at the park. And Charlotte gets bit. I've been bit yeah. by a mosquito. <laughs> I don't think it's a mosquito. It was I just a fly. cine. It was massive. <laughs> well, we go around the park and get on the other attractions here at Alton Towers. Thank you very much for watching, and that means it's time to cue those credits. Bye, guys.